The Jets put all their eggs in the Aaron Rodgers basket. And I told you guys at the beginning of the season, it yeah. was going to ruin everything. And now look at the Jets now. We watched them on Black Friday when they're the only game on TV. And they're going to lose to the Dolphins by 30 points. At least we're going to have some Thanksgiving leftovers. The Jets' decision-making just keeps getting worse. Oh, poor Jets. They're benching Zach Wilson for Tim Boyle next week, and Jets fans are melting down. We're seeing tons of comments quick to call out Boyle's college record, of course. Big Mustache Dad said, Boyle's legit maybe the worst quarterback I've ever seen when he was in college. One touchdown, 13 interceptions in three years in FBS, then drops down to FCS and goes only 11 touchdowns, 13 interceptions as a senior. I don't even understand how he got a chance at the NFL. Pulling up with them receipts. Another frustrated fan points out benching Wilson isn't the answer, saying Boyle isn't going to fix the Hackett problem. At this point, the Zach Wilson is a bad horse line has been beaten to death. But Zach isn't out there calling a screen pass that goes nowhere, does nothing, and is poorly executed four series in a row. That's all Hackett. So it's pretty clear nobody's looking forward to Boyle taking snaps for the Jets, but let's assign the blame appropriately here. So Lorenzo, upvote or downvote, the Jets will not be successful as long as they have Hackett as OC and fail to put an accomplished quarterback on the field. I'm going to downvote this. And listen, I'm not a big Nathaniel Hackett guy, but if Aaron Rodgers is there, I think they can maybe do enough to at least be offensively competent. If you want to blame anyone, Blame Joe Douglas. This is a general manager who put this trash offensive line on the field that had, in the first game, Aaron Rodgers getting pressured on all three dropbacks. And then you have Zach Wilson, who, again, there are a lot, we treat him with training wheels and we give him too many excuses. It's a, it's a problem, but he's running for his life. And this was a problem that the Jets knew they had and they didn't address. Instead of addressing the offensive line, they opted to sign Dalvin Cook, a running back they frankly didn't need and who's underperforming. Don't blame, I mean, listen, blame Hackett. It's, it hasn't been clean. But if you really, really, really want to blame somebody, blame Joe Douglas. Safet, are you in the Joe Douglas train? Yeah, I am. Blame everybody. I'm on the blame everybody <laughs> train. From Willie Johnson, the owner, to Joe Douglas, the GM, to Robert Sala, the coach, and picking Zach Wilson was the wrong decision two years ago. I'm even going to blame Adam Gase for winning a game with the Jets before Trevor <laughs> Lawrence was the number one pick. It's really his fault, okay? But look, the Jets have plenty of blame to go around. They played 13 offensive linemen. Uh, Zach Wilson's got sacked at least 100 times already this season alone. The Jets put all their eggs in the Aaron Rodgers basket, and I told you guys at the beginning of the season he it did. was going to ruin everything. And now look at the Jets now. We watched them on Black Friday when they're the only game on TV, and they're going to lose to the Dolphins by 30 points. At least we're going to have some Thanksgiving leftovers. Hey, sports fans, if you want to see more conversations with athletes and stars, check out these videos right here and be sure to subscribe for more from USA Today Sports.